Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get a really nice, straight, flat edge on your joined up granny squares. So if you're wondering how to get the right stitch count for your joined up granny squares, I will be showing you how to do your joins so it works out really, really great. All you'll need is your hook and corresponding yarn to the project you used. For this tutorial, I'm not doing a chain in between my shells just because I didn't do a chain in between my shells of my granny squares. So you're going to follow that, whatever you did with your granny squares, into how you're doing your shells for the, for the border round. And also your chain in the corner. You'll just do whatever chain you did for your corner in the corner of this border round. So let's get started. So pick a corner to start. Put your hook into that corner space. Put a loop of yarn onto your hook, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Now you can drop your tail and just hold it along that corner for a few stitches. Wrap your yarn and chain two, one and two. So our slip stitch counts as our first chain and the chain two counts as a double crochet, our first double crochet of this row. And now we're just gonna do a regular granny square pattern. So two more double crochets into that corner space. One and two, and I'm going over that tail for those first two stitches. And now I'm gonna drop that tail. Jump straight over into the next space and three double crochets. So pause the video and three double crochets into each space going all the way along this side and I'll meet you when we get closer to this join. So I've made three double crochets into each space all along the side and now I am at my join. So there's a space before the join and a space after. We want to turn these two spaces into one granny shell or one set of three double crochets. So I'll just show you how we do that. Make one double crochet into the first space and finish it off into the same space. Start your double crochet. So we're going to do a decrease. So start your double crochet, wrap your yarn and just take off two. Leave those last two loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn and start a double crochet on the other side of the join in the next space. So leave that last loop on your hook. Now you have three loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. So that finishes those double crochets together. And one more double crochet into the second space. So your join will look like that. Double crochet, decrease, and double crochet. And then on the top, pull my hook out for a sec. On the top, you'll see just three stitches. So for your next round, that will count as a shell. So now keep going three double crochets into each space and I'll meet you when we get to the next join. So into the first space of our join, one double crochet and start the second double crochet, leaving it on your hook. So we're not going to finish that double crochet. Wrap your yarn and into the other side of the join, start a double crochet and now finish those both together. So wrap your yarn and take off all three loops and one more double crochet into the same space like that and now keep going three double crochets into each space all the way along and I'll meet you at the corner into that corner space we're just going to do a traditional granny square corner so three double crochets chain three one two and three turn your work a smudge just to be working along your new side and now three double crochets into that same space so there is our corner so keep going, making three double crochets into each space and I'll meet you at the join. At the join, one double crochet into the first space. Start your second double crochet, but leave it on your hook, don't finish it. Start your third double crochet into the other side of that join and finish both of those double crochets together. So wrap your yarn and take off all three loops and finish with one double crochet into that space. So that is our join. We're going to do that all the way around. And that is our corner. We're going to do that all the way around. So keep going and I'll meet you when we get back to where we joined. If your pattern calls for a chain one in between your shells, you can do a chain one in between your shells for the border round as well. 
I've gotten back to where we joined, where we started that corner. So into the last corner space, three double crochets. And the same chain you did for your corners, so I did a chain three. So I'll chain three and slip stitch to join. You can do an invisible join if you feel like it. One little slip stitch. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So there is the edge on our granny squares. You can see it dips down a little bit in where our join is, but the next round, or if you uh, do a border on it, that'll just pull it up really nice. So if you're gonna be working into this row again, you're gonna go in before that set at the join and after. These will be your new spaces going along your side and it'll even out just really, really great. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. There's a ton of crochet tutorials, crochet alongs, chats. We have a really great community. I'd love to see your finished joined up squares or what you're working on. You can upload your photos to our Facebook group, the Secret Urinary Crochet Community. Love to see what you're working on and have a super great day. Stay hooked.